गाइस वेलकम बैक दिस इज वीरेन कुमार सो इन दिस वीडियो सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ द कुकुम्बर रिपोर्ट अवेलेबल ऑन द जो डेवोप्स पाइपलाइंस सो वी हैव द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द पाइपलाइंस लाइक बूट स्ट्रैप हिरारी की फाउंडेशन एंड सिंपल द बूट स्ट्रैप एंड हिरारी की रिपोर्ट टाइप आई हैव डिस्कस इन द अर्लियर वीडियो वीडियो नंबर वन नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द फाउंडेशन एंड द सिंपल रिपोर्ट हाउ इट लुक्स एंड हाउ वी कैन जनरेट द कुकुम्बर एच टी एम एल रिपोर्ट एंड द फॉर्मेट विल बी द फाउंडेशन ऑन द सिंपल रिपोर्ट ओके सो फॉर दैट सपोज यू हैव द बी डी डी कुकुम्बर फ्रेमवर्क ओके दैट फ्रेमवर्क इज रनिंग ऑन योर लोकल सिस्टम एंड दैट फ्रेमवर्क यू आर रनिंग थ्रू द पॉम डोट एक्स एम एल फाइल ओके एंड यू हैव द वन टेस्ट रनर फाइल्स एंड वी हैव द वन फीचर फाइल्स लाइक दैट यू हैव द मल्टीपल फीचर फाइल्स और मल्टीपल स्टेप डेफिनेशन लाइक दैट यू हैव द वन प्रोजेक्ट after that what you do you push the code to the github repository in your organization so you are somewhere you are keeping your code in bitbucket uh, you know and github wherever in svn so wherever you are keeping your code you need to push the code to the github repository first okay once your clean code is pushed to the github repository then we we will go to the Uh, azure devops pipeline so this is the azure devops organization azure devops organization and there we have the one project to test this uh, reporting part and under the project we have the pipeline sections and in pipeline sections we have the um, different type of the pipelines to create it. if you want to create the new pipelines you can click on the new pipeline i will use the classic editor to create the pipeline now i am going to take the github code because my source code is kept into the github account this is my github account so i want to refer the code directly from the github account so that's why i select the source as a github and there i want the permissions the connections uh, to get the connections with the github between azure devops so now i have the github connections five and how to create the connection between that i am going to make the separate video you can watch in that video and now i am going to select the repository so we have all these repositories so where is our uh, code is placed is it's called the bdd test report so i am going to select this one uh, you can see that code is placed into my bdd test report so my code is there so that's why i selected this repository name and default branch name is the master and then you can continue now you can select the empty job is there under the pipeline sections we have the test azure project ci pipeline demo report so you can change the name and under the agent pool i am going to select the local agent a local agent is my <coughs> so as a agent pool you can select the default or the local agent the local agent is my local machines where i am going to run how to run the local agent you can watch my uh, earlier videos there you will get the idea how to configure the agent okay so this part is done now you can save this one go to the get resource it's done now the agent job is there okay so same thing you can keep here the agent job like uh, two okay and you can inherit me from the pipelines execution plan none time out zero job cancel zero and run these jobs only even if a previous job has failed you can select these options okay you can save these changes now we want the publish cucumber report okay before that i want to build this project so how to build this project we can add the one task so we can go to the maven and you can add the task how to add the task when you have your job 
run on the agent you can click on the plus sign it will ask you to add the job uh, or the task for this agent job 2 and when you click on this one the right side window will open and there you can search the maven and you will have the build test and deploy with the apache maven you can add this one now the pom.xml file so display name maven pom.xml file pom.xml file goal is the package you can remove this junit test result publish junit test result you can remove these options okay and rest you can keep it as it is okay now you can save this one now our build is ready now once the build is done after that what we need we want the report okay how many test cases executed so for that we already have the plugin we need to add this plugin as a task so we can click on this plus sign again and then you can type publish okay when you type this publish you will get the many options so you have this publish cucumber report and simply you can add this report next to the pom.xml file not the before the pom.xml file it should come always after the pom.xml file this is going to run the build maven is the build management tool once the build is ready we are going to display the report now uh, be careful about the publish cucumber report part okay so follow the steps display name you can keep it as it is now the input directory okay which is your input directory you can click on these three dots and you can go to the target folder under the target folder we have the cucumber folder okay and under this cucumber folder we have the report.json or report.html so you just select till the folder so we have the folder target cucumber so this part is done where your json report is going to generate it till there you can select this one and then you can do like that okay slash you can provide now you have this one on the question this one you can click on it and click on the link and there you have the json directory okay so to json so under this json directory we have the name so what is your json report name report dot json okay so you can provide the name of that file report dot json you can select the setting input directory it then the pipeline parameter link to this setting is parameter dot json directory you can select these options display name your json file name and this is the value under target and cucumber then you can link this one now your output directory so again the same thing you want to do uh, you can select and i want into the target folder uh, under the target folder i have the cucumber html report and in that part i want to show output directory and there you can link this is the output directory okay display name output directory and you can link so if you want to change the name like uh, cucumber.html and you can link this one now select the report theme okay you can click on this one if you have already created another uh, the report format so you can unlink first then uh, we will select the foundation format so this is the foundation theme okay again you can link this one okay so foundation format is linked to this one now you can save and run the pipelines so let's see how the foundation report looks in the Azure DevOps pipeline. Okay. 
okay so this job is completed now let's see the report is generated or not so we'll go back to the job and there you have the uh, cucumber tab is there so before that you can refresh that one now you can click on the cucumber tab and it should show the foundation report format now this is the foundation report format okay cucumber html report for demo feature test build a few seconds ago okay this is a feature verify google search functionality and when you click on this scenario you will have all the steps are there so this is the foundation report in the uh, azure devops okay and now uh, we want to generate our simple report for that so how we can generate the simple format of the cucumber report for that again you can go to the publish cucumber report and you can unlink the report theme you can select the simple uh, again you link this one okay you can save and again you can run the job so i'm just going to show how these reports looks in the azure devops pipelines for your test cases so the job is completed now let's see the report the simple report how it looks so again we click on the cucumber tab and let's see this is the simple report format okay verify google search functionality and give a an username so it looks like that okay so this is the very simple report